Today, I'm so happy to share with you how to make French macarons. French macarons are sweet, light and puffy and they have a shell which is crispy outside and chewy inside and with a creamy filling in the center. They are so pretty, so delicious and I was so surprised when I first came to know that these beautiful French macarons are made with only three ingredients sugar, almond powder and egg whites. Three simple ingredients simple way of making but this is one of the most trickiest recipes and most problems arise by skipping steps or by not using the right techniques so here i have six simple tips that will help you to create perfect macarons even if it is your first trial if you follow these six tips you cannot go wrong and you will definitely have a happy ending with some of the beauty queens in the baking world So tip number one is to measure your ingredients. This is one of the few recipes where you really have to weigh your ingredients. This is most important because if this gets wrong, then everything can go wrong. Here in this recipe, we are taking almond powder, 70 grams, powdered sugar or confectionery sugar or icing sugar, 120 grams, egg whites of two large eggs, and granulated sugar 50 grams tip number two is to sift in the dry ingredients because we want to make sure that our mixture is finely ground and powdery as possible and that is going to give that beautiful shells to our macarons and that will make the macarons so light if we don't do this step macarons will have a few lumps here and there and they don't look pretty too tip number three is while whipping the egg whites make sure that the egg whites are at room temperature because it's very difficult to whip up cold egg whites and adding half a teaspoon of lemon juice or cream of tartar or vinegar will help to give more stabilized whipped egg whites. Beat the egg whites on medium speed until they are frothy and now gradually add in your 50 grams of granulated sugar and beat for until you have stiff peaks. And now it's time for us to add in the dry ingredients into your egg whites and pour half of the almond mixture into the egg whites and gently fold in the egg whites into the almond mixture and then add rest of the almond powder and we need to mix them together and here is where so many of us can go wrong because if we over mix we are going to end up with a macaron that is flat and does not have little ridges around it and if we under mix then we are gonna end up with a macaron that is dome shaped and a lot more chances that they can crack at the top and to make it more clear do not over mix or under mix the batter and the consistency of the batter should be like this when you lift up the spatula you will see a thick ribbon form and it will sink back into the mixture in about 20 seconds and the point is that when you pipe the cookies the peaks should settle down themselves within 10 to 15 seconds
Occasionally, check the consistency of the batter to test the doneness and the success of our macarons will depend largely on our ability to understand when to stop folding our batter. And now let's transfer this batter onto a piping bag and then we are going to pipe out the batter into a baking sheet which is lined with a parchment paper and I have traced some round shapes in an A4 size paper and kept it underneath the parchment paper so that I can see the shapes while piping. And don't forget to take out the paper before baking. Don't forget to bang the baking sheet on the counter because this will help the air bubbles to escape and to prevent macarons from cracking during baking process. Here is the tip number 6 which is one of the crucial steps in making macarons because this is that step which gives that little ridges or feet to the macarons and what you need to do is to make sure that your macarons sit out for at least 20 to 30 minutes on the counter or until they form a skin over the macaron mold or it is ready when you can lightly touch the shell without any trace of batter transferring onto your fingers. Bake at 325 Fahrenheit preheated oven for 12 to 15 minutes. Here I have prepared strawberry buttercream for filling our macarons. I love this filling because it's a little bit tart and for this sweet little macarons it's always nice to complement them with something tart in the center. And here I have used a fresh strawberry juice extract, softened butter and powdered sugar to make this strawberry buttercream. And now let's fill in our shells. I hope this video helped you and I hope you will try making French macarons at home and I'm sure you will love it and please let me know how beautiful it turned out for you and if anything go wrong please leave me a comment down below and if you like this video please give a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe this channel so that you won't miss any upcoming recipes. Thank you so much for your love and support and thanks for watching this video. See you next time.